wake up and I have these uh, urgent feelings, you know, what was it? And the more I try to remember, the more I can't. Um, it's very rare that I actually remember my dreams. But last night, my dream, it was very impactful. Um, Chris has a bunch, this was the dream. So Chris has a bunch of ants. So he's got like 13 ants. And many of his family members, his aunts, and their families, a lot of them are, they are Jehovah's Witnesses. And one of the beliefs that the religion teaches is that there are certain elect, there is only 144,000 elect that has ever been created out of the billions of people that have ever lived on planet Earth, they believe they took one sentence out of scripture and conformed it to their their religion. Um, and uh, anyways, in my dream last night, I dreamt that it was the end of the world. Everything there were um, there were like massive crazy things going on in the world there were wars breaking out there were earthquakes and hurricanes and tsunamis and floods and like all sorts of end of world prophecy things they were actually happening I didn't physically see them but it was a knowing that I had and there were several of his aunts but I, I can't um, determine exactly which aunts um, but um, I few of them they were panicking they were they were like freaking out um they're like in hysteria screaming and just super upset and frightened filled with fear um and i was like what's wrong what's wrong and they said we're we're not the 144,000. we're not we're not chosen we're not the elect and i was like what do you mean and they said we, we don't have the mark. We, we're not the chosen. We, we aren't one of them. We're not one of the 144,000 that he's chosen and not, that Jehovah has chosen. And I started looking everywhere for my Bible. I wanted to get my Bible to show them how wrong they were. I want to show them what the Bible teaches about, about us being God's children and that we are his elect. All we have to do is just believe in Jesus Christ, that Jesus came to save us. And I was looking everywhere. I couldn't find my Bible. But I had this calmness about me. And I just told them all the promises of God. And that, you know, he doesn't change. And, and that he's no respecter of persons. And that all we have to do is just trust and believe and accept Jesus Christ as our Savior. And we are his elect. We are his children. We are the chosen. That he will rescue us. And it was this confidence that I had and this knowing that I had that that alone just calmed them right down. They were just, they believed because I believed. They believed because I was secure. They believed because I was confident. And then when I woke up, I woke up and I had this sense of, wow, like that was so powerful that I need to remember in the chaos of this world, I need to remain calm. I need to remain confident and I, knew, I need to know God's word. I need to study it. I need to read it because it says that if you read and study the word of God, it becomes alive in your life. And it is, it's so alive in my life today. And I'm just so hungry to just want to learn and read more and more and more. I just, I just want to know Jesus so much more. I, I want to feel his breath on my flesh. I, I want to, I, I want to hear him speaking to me. I want to hear his hot breath in my ear. I just want to follow his ways and, and his word and, and his promptings. So I, in my own self, I suck. I'm no good. I'm selfish. I'm mean. I, I, I'm 
fleshy and just not nice. But in Christ, I'm beautiful. I'm created in his image. I am like Jesus. And that's what the Bible says. We've been created in his image. So I'm more of him and less of me. So anyways, my friends, what I'm trying to say here is we need to know the word of God. And that alone, and that confidence, and that assurance, that is what is going to bring other people to Christ. So stand firm in your faith and have a blessed day. Bye for now.